What is going on guys? Grave here today. I'd like to talk about how hazard mode will not be free to play. And a lot of us thought that this was going to be a free to play mode. There's a lot of rumors out there from really good sources that there would be a free to play mode with Battlefield 2042. But EA said that hazard mode, the regular multiplayer and the portal mode would be part of the game. So you actually have to purchase the game to play these three modes. Personally, I think they could have gone with the multiplayer and the portal mode and probably would have supported the game enough. Uh, it would give people enough content to purchase the game and they could have had hazard zone for free and i think ea and dice are really messing up by not doing this now in case you do not know what hazard zone is i will pop a video up in the top right corner uh, and you can kind of check that out i talked about this a few days ago kind of showed off the trailer just to give you a very quick rundown a little bit more of a hardcore style uh, battle royale mode is what hazard zone kind of breaks down to be even though there are some things where you have to capture uh, or capture excuse me uh, intel and actually get it out of an extraction so it's not really focused on just killing but at the same time it is loosely based on kind of a br mode even though ea and dice really are trying to get it away from that whole br idea they want it to be its own thing but in general uh, I, I think that they really messed up with this there's a lot of players out there that you know have may have never played battlefield there's a lot of players out there that may have played the beta that didn't really love the beta that enjoy br style modes that you know are looking for that thing uh, to itch the scratch of playing Battle Royale. They may be tired of playing Fortnite, Apex, Warzone. And I think if they would have released this for free, it would have been a really big thing, in my opinion, for uh, Battlefield 2042. If you look at Call of Duty Warzone, I think that was the one thing Activision did that was really smart. A lot of people had quit, had, had really just stopped or quit playing Call of Duty over the years. And it got a lot of fans back into the game uh, that had stepped away. And it also brought a lot of new players to the game that had never even played any of the games in the Call of Duty franchise. And if you've all been around the channel, you know I've played all the Battlefield games, all the COD games. So uh, when I think about some things that would be really good for Battlefield, and a lot of times you can look kind of at each of the games and pick some things from each of the titles that the companies do well and things they don't do well. And you think that they would learn from each other. You thought... I would have thought EA saw that, hey, Warzone did really well. It's free to play. Let's try to make Hazard Zone a free to play thing and get players in the game that may not buy it because they didn't like certain parts of the multiplayer. They may be unhappy there's not a single player. They may not be multiplayer fans. They may be more of a, a BR style fan nowadays. So let's make Hazard Zone free so these players have something to do. Or they could have also looked at it as we may get a whole new group of individuals that have never played battlefield in the past to play hazard zone and these individuals may or may not buy the game but you know in my opinion it would be a, a really good idea to have the chance of them maybe buying the game instead of just saying you know if you want to play hazard zone you have to buy battlefield 2042 which i think a lot of players will not do uh, if the mode would have been free i could have seen more players buying battlefield 2042 to play it uh, than people just buying the game outright, you know, wanting to try it out. I, I think a free-to-play version of Hazard Zone would have been a great thing. I think Hazard Zone should have been free-to-play. All the rumors about the free-to-play modes, I'm not really sure what's going to come of that. I, I, they've already mentioned that Portal Mode is going to be included with the game, so I don't assume that they're going to have any parts of Portal Mode unless they just do some, you know, like smaller part of it, maybe that you can try out for free. But if you want to play the whole thing, you have to buy the game. I'm not sure how that's going to work. Uh, I, I'm assuming they would not do that. I'm assuming they would not do that with Hazard Zone either. But I think EA and DICE really missed the mark by not making Hazard Zone free. I think you could have brought a lot a lot of new people to the franchise. Uh, a lot of people might have returned just to play that because maybe, like I said, they have kind of got over multiplayer games and they prefer to play Battle Royale instead of just straight, you know, like normal uh, basic multiplayer. Um, with the addition of Warzone, Fortnite, Apex, all this over the last several years, I think a lot of people like to have the option either to play multiplayer or to play a battle royale style game when they purchase, you know, things nowadays. So like I said, I think EA and DICE really missed the mark. Leave me a comment with your thoughts. Of course, if you like the video, hit the like. If you have not subscribed yet, please do so. Be sure to check out everything down in the description, the community discord, my Twitter, and of course the affiliates here on the channel, Empire Jerky and Amazon Associates. And I'll catch you all next time. Peace.